welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're going to take a look at a wig that I have never seen reviewed before. Uh, this came through as a request and I'm really happy to look at this one. This is the Amores Tova in the color Spring Honey. I have a lot of detail on this wig you won't want to miss coming up. style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today. You can find it at Wig Studio One. If you expand the description box below this video, I will attach a link directly to this style. You can check out all of the color offers and pricing. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. Tova is a shaggy cropped pixie style lots of layering, easy to wear, just kind of an easy breezy throw and go style. But first I do want to get into this color, this Spring Honey. Now this is not the Spring Honey R. This is not the Spring Honey T, which I have had before. This is just the regular Spring Honey. And Amore is a part of the Adirans company and Adirans makes Renee of Paris, Noriko and Amore among others, I think. But those are the three main ones, and they all offer some version of Spring Honey. I feel like they're probably all very, very similar. So if you're looking at a Spring Honey on a Noriko style, it should look very similar, if not the same as this Amore style. So this Spring Honey is a medium honey blonde, and that's heavily highlighted with a pale gold blonde. Now that does make it a bit warm in color. Now honey all by itself is more of a neutral color. I kind of put that over into the neutral colors like uh, honey, sand, and beige. They kind of all go into that neutral category. You see a lot of uh, companies using honey, beige, and sand to accent some of their styles so that it doesn't go too warm or it doesn't go too cool. I think neutral colors are universally flattering overall. Now again, this one does not have a root, but based on all of these layers, it just kind of makes it look like it's darker uh, at the base of the cap here. Um, now the rooting does change things a bit. So I have seen the Spring Honey R, and it's very similar to this just with the added root, and the root does darken it up a little. So I really like this. If you enjoy a medium to light blonde, unrooted, that is not uh, not too gold, not too ashy in tone, just nice and neutral. Now what you notice on this is just that it has those timeless shaggy layers all over. Beginning with a four inch layer here in the front that's easily swept off to either side. Um, it's easy to do. These, these fibers just go where you put them and so I just took my finger and ran it right across the forehead there and the fiber kind of followed in that way. So in the back, you're gonna find a three inch layer right at the crown. And that tapers down into a 2.25 inch nape. There's lots of shaggy, flippy layers in the back, uh, forming a little bit of a wedge effect there. It's ample coverage all the way around. So if you do have a little bit of a longer natural hairline in the back, I feel like this would be fine to cover that up. What I notice about this is a little bit different than some other shaggy styles is that that layering is just all over. So even the layers on the top are very short. And I, I guess I'm just used to a little bit of a longer fringe, especially on the top there. Um, but those short shaggy layers carry all throughout this style. So I feel like in that way, um, it is a bit timeless. I think it'll never go out of style just because it's easy to wear and it's cute. I think that the shaggy layers around the face really do highlight the eyes. Toba is super lightweight at around two ounces. So that is very lightweight. It feels very comfortable on. It's hard to even sense that you have a wig on when you're wearing it. And it has a double monofilament top. Now this one does not have a lace front. It's just a double monofilament top. And I can tell you that the double monofilament tops by Amore um, have an exquisite sense of realism to them. Uh, no matter if you have dark hair underneath the wig cap, you're always going to get a sense of scalp 
where it's parted on the top. So you can easily see down into that double monofilament. It just gives a beautiful natural look from anywhere. And if you're taller than me, which most people are, you can definitely see down through that hair into that uh, parting space anywhere you want to part it now you don't have to part it anywhere i mean you don't have to designate a parting space and when this came right out of the box i really don't think there was a designated parting space um, on this you just have to fluff up those fibers a little bit with your fingers you can redirection them but see how short those layers on the are on the top i am going to to mist some water over this to bring out this texture. I could also use some texturizing spray to bring it out if I like. There's a lot you can do. I think this is very versatile, but also very flattering. In terms of permatease, there's just barely any permatease on this style. Um, there might be just a thin layer around to obscure the wefting on the sides and the back, but nothing pillowy or hot or stifling. Now this double monofilament top will trap the heat a little bit, but the fact that it's open wefted on the sides and back, you should be okay that way. Um, now the work at the top, this, this lift that you're noticing is done by the fibers. Um, the shaggy layers kind of stick up a little bit, giving it some lift right off of that double monofilament top. So even without permatease, you are able to get a little bit of lift and cute profile on this style. Now I'm just gonna put up some photographs of this wig right out of the box. I literally just had to shake it. I have done nothing to it. I did not have to put product in it. I didn't have to manipulate it severely. I didn't have to work it at all. It was just like this right out of the box. So on these photos, you'll see that it comes in the typical Amore box with the gold embossment. It's beautiful. And then um, how it's laid inside of the box. There was no net on this one, but it was turned inside out and held in place by some bobby pins. And uh, then you notice here this double monofilament top. It's just gorgeous. Um, it is a very soft, pliable double monofilament top. It has a polyurethane strip at the front. This will give comfort and security and hold. Um, I really like it. It looks like there might be a little bit of a hidden weft there at the front, just a little brush of fiber to give a nice natural looking hairline. Although because of these bangs, um, I don't feel like you really need a lace front at all on, the, on this style. Um, so then you have your closed ear tabs, lots of fiber spliced in. You've got a scalloped rose lace extended nape in the back, along with bra strap type adjusters. What you wanna know about the fit on this cap, it's more of the more legacy type fit, meaning more average than some of the newer styles. Um, I consider this to be appropriate for anybody uh, with a 21 and a quarter inch circumference like me, up to a 22 to 22 and a half, which would be completely average. Toba is gonna work great with your glasses. I just know it's gonna be a wonderful glasses friendly style. I am not wrong. It fits beautifully, nicely, securely, and comfortably between the ear and the ear tab. So I'm just gonna go ahead and manipulate this style a little bit to show you the versatility, show you how the fibers move and react. Check it out at Wig Studio One. All of the links are below this video. We'll catch up with you soon again at Taz's Wig.